Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Osama here. In this video, we're going to learn how to set up calendar payments in Go High Level. Now, for this video, I have an example of a chiropractic adjustment calendar, and you can see we are charging $49 for the full appointment, and we're taking a deposit of 50%, which is $24.50, and we are collecting payment information here. So if you want to do it for your practice or your business to decrease no-shows or maybe improve the quality of the bookings to get only serious candidates in, this is a great option. So let's jump into our sub-account and see how we can do this. So the first thing you have to do in your sub account is head over to payments on the left side and then on the top bar select integrations on the top right side then you will see some payment integration options like stripe paypal authorize there are some others as well but stripe is the most popular one so if you don't have that connected you can click on connect mine is already connected as you can see that's why it says manage otherwise you'll see a button like this and if you want to integrate paypal as well you can actually click on that and then it will ask you for a few details you can also find our help doc on how to find the relevant information that you need to input there since i already have stripe connected i'm going to go ahead with that but you need to have at least one payment provider added in order to use the calendar payments option once you've connected your payment provider we're going to head over to calendars here and then click on calendar settings and in here you'll find all the calendars that you have created if you want to create a new one you can click here and then select the relevant type for this example i'm using this Cairo calendar so i'm just going to click on the three dots here click on edit and then we'll head over to forms and payment then we're going to scroll down a little bit to where it says accept payments as you can see the toggle is already on it is usually disabled as default but you need to enable it if you don't have that and then you can put in the total amount that you are charging for the appointment and then you also have an option to accept partial payment so in this case because i'm taking a deposit 50 percent to confirm the appointment to make sure that only serious people are showing up that's why i have 50 percent but if you want to charge the whole amount you can disable this checkbox and then it will deduct the 49 dollars for now, I'm just going to keep it enabled. And under that, you can put in the deposit amount. You can do a flat amount or percentage. It's up to you. And then we have the description box here where you can mention why you're charging this and if there's any policy regarding cancellations. So it's always a good idea to be transparent about it. And then in the end, we have one more toggle option, which is test or live. So make sure if you're going live and if this calendar is being used on a website or funnel or any landing page, it should be live because otherwise, if you have one test, anybody can put in a random credit card and it will go through. So if you want to test it for yourself to trigger automations and to make sure that things are working fine you can put it in test mode so when you put in a random credit card number it will still let it go through and a payment will not be deducted so it's perfect for testing but once you are ready and fully confident about this process just make sure that you have it live and then all you have to do is click on save and now we have calendar payments enabled in this chiropractic calendar now if i close this out and then if i click on share copy the link and open it you can see we have total amount here then we have pay now so if i select a slot right here and then enter in my details if i do not enter the payment information it will not let me go through as you can see so i'll now have to enter my card details pay this deposit in order to confirm the appointment and because this is live nobody can go through without making actual payment and once somebody pays this amount you should be able to find it under payments and under transactions this is where you can see a history or a log of all the payments that have been made that was about this video thank you for watching